Hi guys, Electrostats here. Welcome to the first part of a new episode of Time to Improve. When hitting a note, a score will show up under the note to display the amount of points that you get for the hit. This number can be hard to read while maintaining focus on the map, and for this reason, players use a mod to customize the display of that number. In this episode, I will teach you about the mod Hitsco Visualizer by giving you a detailed explanation of all the configs that I personally use and how you can create your own personal config. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Hitscore Visualizer is a mod that allows you to customize the display of the score that you get when hitting a note. You can change the size or the color of the text depending on the score that you get. You can also add more information about your swing, such as your pre-swing score, your post-swing score, your accuracy score, or even your timing dependence. There's a lot more customization that you can do, but for now, that is all we need. For this part, I will explain three different configs that I personally use to help me improve at the game. When making a config, my goal is to minimize the amount of unnecessary details while still maintaining the essential information. If you want to download my configs, I will put a link in the description below. This first config might look simple, but it has some hidden tricks in it. The big number represents the accuracy points. The color of that number represents the total amount of points for the hit. Here is a full range of the color that I use for the config. If you underswing for more than 2 points, there will be a big bar under the accuracy number that tells you that you have some underswing. This indicator doesn't tell you how much you underswing by, but you can estimate its value by looking at the difference in color. For example, swinging a node for 14 accuracy points is supposed to be displayed as a white number. If the color is yellow instead, the total score is between 102 to 104. By subtracting 114 with the 102 to 104, we can deduce that the underswing would be inclusively between 10 to 12 points. I understand that this might be a little hard to read at first, but this information is very important to know exactly where you are losing your points. These details can also be very useful to practice swing optimization, though I won't cover it in this episode. I built two extra config using the same logic but with different color variants. On the left, the strict 111 colors are displayed, and on the right, are the strict 112 colors. Though I highly recommend getting used to the default config before moving on to the stricter versions. A problem I've noticed with a lot of players is their mentality about accuracy. Most players will try to concentrate on hitting as many 15s as possible, but in my opinion, it is not ideal. A better way to think of it is how to reduce the amount of low accuracy swings you get. We also call this concept accuracy consistency. I needed a tool to practice my ACK consistency and I figured I could create an its visualizer config to help with it. I separated these configs into 5 different versions ranging from very strict thresholds to very loose thresholds. If you hit above that threshold, the Itzko Visualizer will display nothing. Congrats! You are very accurate. However, if you hit under that threshold, it will display the accuracy number. This way, when you will see the accuracy number, 
you will know exactly where you are losing your accuracy while reducing the amount of information displayed during a song. This last config displays your timing dependence. It is based on Rockers' timing dependence config, but with my own config and colors. The number at the top is the same as my Electrostats HSV config that we've seen at the beginning. The number under is your timing dependence displayed in percentage. This config is mostly used to learn swinging technique and accuracy on slower map. If you do not know what the second number means, I highly recommend checking out my timing dependence episode from this series. And that's it for this first part of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that this will help some of you. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to see more of my content and I'll see you soon for part number two. Peace!